Uh, I'm Dane Ward. Uh, I'm a PhD student in the Laboratory of Pylons Research at Drexel University uh, under the direction of Dr. Bien. Uh, these are several of my lab mates, uh, Leanne Hoff, uh, Major DeFeo, Katie D'Amelio, Ryan Rubozo, Kevin Smith, and Marilyn Sobel. Uh, my preliminary, or not my preliminary, my primary study out here is um, to create a population estimate for the northern pine snake, uh, which is a state threatened species in New Jersey. What we do is we monitor hibernacula, which is where these guys will spend their winters, um, and then we'll radio implant each one of the adult individuals in order to determine how far they move throughout the landscape and essentially what they do and where they're hanging out. Um, this will give us a lot of information that we can create population estimates with. Um, which how does will, that help the military? Well, this is really important because what we can do here at Warren Grove Gunnery Range um, is we can help the New Jersey Air National Guard um, with the conservation of this species. Because it's a state-listed species, um, we need to be sure that nothing's negatively impacting the species. Um, out here at the bombing range, it seems like the disturbance that they actually conduct with their military practices seem to benefit this species uh, by creating openings and clear sandy areas for them to nest or thermoregulate. Um, another PhD student in our lab, Ron Smith, did a lot of the preliminary work on this species and documented that they do in fact um, occur in great densities and seem to prefer the impact area here at the bombing range, um, most likely because there's a lot of prey availability. So how will your data be used uh, on a larger scale? Uh, well, we're hoping to extrapolate our data here from Warren Grove Range and a few other sites throughout the Pine Barrens um, to create a more sound population estimate for the entire state and determine whether the species is stable or in decline. Uh, with all the development that's going on throughout the Pine Barrens, we suspect that when they're losing habitat, we're also losing pine snakes, uh, which is a problem because it's a, a really great flagship species for the pine barrens. Um, it occurs in all the areas in the pine barrens, uh, loose sandy soils, like I had said. So by protecting the pine snake, we're protecting the pine barrens. I was told you take